Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments. We're today with our new Mega Grapple Utility Size Tractor Grapple. This grapple is also comes in a 73, which we've already done the video on. I just wanted to, while we had a 55 getting ready to go out, I wanted to explain a couple differences and why you may or may not want to choose a different cylinder for these particular grapples. They both will use the same cylinder, but just I'll give you a little heads up. Okay, so we did do a video of just how much abuse that this thing could take. It wasn't really meant to be shown to, the, to my customers. If you want to look at it, you'll find it on YouTube and Everything Attachments channels where we just tried to do everything, that, everything from unsafe to uh, what you shouldn't be doing, like pushing with the lids open and everything. And just because you see it in the video doesn't mean that you should be doing it. I was just doing it to see how much punishment that it would take uh, and expected to be in some parts and so forth, wanted to find out where the weaknesses were, really didn't find any. So we hope that this is, we've got the design exactly right and we're looking forward to this being a really good design. We've already sold a dozen of them in two weeks and this is the first one that's going out of the 55 inch. <clears throat> now, I had mine on the test video on the new L6060 Kubota, and one of the things I noticed with is the newer compacts and the utility tractors being kind of an economy tractor, they don't have a lot of gallons per minute of flow. So be careful when you look, because a lot of times they'll give you the whole number and not deduct what the power steering and so forth is using. In other words, my L6060 shows like 14 gallons per minute, but when it comes down to what's left for the auxiliaries, it's only 9.5. And this is the perfect grapple for that tractor, and I love it. But what I noticed was when I had the two and a half inch bore cylinders on it, and this being a 10 inch stroke, which is longer than any grapple of this size I know of, which allows us to bring this up and get a lot of down pressure and leverage on this lid, but what it did with that 10 inch stroke, it just made the lids really slow up and down with only nine and a half gallons of flow. Anything under 12 and a half gallons of flow, I believe I would use the two inch cylinders. If you've got 12 or more gallons on your tractor, then you may want to use the two and a half inch. I think just because of the leverage, you've already got more down pressure than any grapple on the market. So the two, in, the two inch bore definitely makes them open quicker when they have to move that full 10 inches of stroke. So we're also gonna have our single lid. We just started the design for it today. This will come with a single lid and it'll be a 36. And that means it would come from this time to this time as a single lid, single cylinder, and it'll be good for loose brush and you know a little less uh, uh, clearing type because it's a single lid and you're not gonna have as much pressure per lid, but it still will be a great piece for most people. Um, you still have the 43 inches of, of lift on this, and I've got the hoses hooked together so I can lift them up. This is enough room for this size tractor to get anything in it that you should need. It's got these nice sharp pieces here to help you pull small stuff out of the woods. It's got the one inch thick cylinder mounts where we're greasing them through the pins with a counter sunk, sunk grease fitting so you don't tear that up. I've had a lot of people say uh, that I should have put JIC fittings on the hydraulic hoses instead of pipe fittings. But if you look at the size of these fittings here, a JIC fitting is real easy for me to put on. I simply crimp it on, tighten it right here, and I'm done. Instead, we we're using pipe fittings, and we're using them for, for mainly just one reason. They're simply twice as heavy, they'll take twice the abuse, and believe it or not, these are American made uh, instead of uh, all the JICC stuff pretty much comes from China. But the, uh, you know, if you had to on the weekend, if you ripped a line for some reason, you could go to a hardware store almost anywhere and get pipe stuff. Um, we still use the swivel fittings here, which are expensive, but it lets these pull down without twisting all these hoses all day long. So there's a whole lot of things you get with the everything attachments grapple in this wicked version that you just don't get with anyone else's. 
We're willing to put the extra time and effort to putting these old style pipe fittings together simply because they're stronger and more durable for you. Um, you know, we've put these extra gussets in here on this lid, made this really high, and as much t twisting and pulling as I tried to do with my tractor, we didn't move the lid any. So these formed gussets are really working good. So we've kept all the holes in it, uh, kept it light, kept the good grades of metal, kept the front gussets out of it where the, where the compact tractors can actually push through the ground and do some raking with the front. Uh, you really shouldn't pull back with the lids on these, you know, unless it's moderate stuff and you kind of know what's under there. We added the solid plates on here instead of just putting the, the top and the bottom on it and letting it hit against one tine. We wanted to fully support this for the bigger tractors that have the push power. And you can see this big tower, this cylinder zone, to give it the, the angle it needs to give you that full grapple force for what you're doing. Uh, this is the standard universal hitch on it, uh, for like a skid steer. We also offered in the John Deere hitch and the uh, Euro hitch. So, uh, and that's what most of the John Deeres have gone back to. Uh, so this is just, a, I've used it on my uh, tractor for the last few days at my house. I absolutely love it. So hopefully this will meet your needs for your mega compact or your utility tractor because there's not many grapples out there that I see just that make that perfect fit for the heavy dutiness versus the weight that they need and being able to get this type of grapple force. So if you'll give us a call or an email at Everything Attachments, we'll be help, happy to make sure that you get the right size grapple and make the right size cylinder choice for your tractor.